Hey guys, it's me again, Laura. Uh, welcome to my second tutorial. Today we will be doing snowflakes. Last year my snowflakes were requested by both the boys and the girls. The girls liked them in pink, the boys liked them in blue. Uh, they turned out to be a popular design and they were really quick for me to paint to get through my line fast if I had to. All right, so the first thing I do is I load a sponge delver and I load it with one of my split and one of my split cakes just like this so I have three colors all three colors on it just like so and then um, I'll just make the circles like you see here and for the girls they like it in pink and purple so I made pink and purple circles once you made the circles, you need to wait for them to dry because you do not want um, the white line work to um, mush with the paint. You may have to go over your lines twice anyway, but um, just let them dry first. That way you can... Um, it's not so much hassle. Um, load another two brush or any size of brush you prefer uh, with white. I use Wolf FX Bright uh, White and then I'll do four lines coming out of the middle that are larger, quite a bit larger than my um, circle. And make sure to reload your um, brush with with white in between um, because as you can see the white blends into the blue quite fast so um, that way you always have a fresh white on there and then in between the longer lines I make a little bit shorter lines that just go over the edge of the circle Alright, so now I have the lines on every one and um, as I said, I had to go over some of the lines twice because the underlying color was bleeding through and um, basically what you, what you do is you make big flicker stars and then um, the next thing we do is uh, add a couple more lines and I I usually add two lines to each of the longer the longer ones on the outside. And then I do the the same thing on the smaller ones, but I don't put them so far to the outside. I put them so that they end where my circle ends. Just like this. There we go. So there you already have um, snowflakes that work out fine. Now if you um, want to add to that you can always... Oh, I'll show you on one of the pink ones. So again I'll do the... Um, I'll do flickers on the outer ones and then also on the smaller ones just like that and then from there what you can also do just to vary the snowflakes a little is you can add lines going down just like this that way it gives you like a star look. Or another thing you can do is you can, instead of just doing two lines, you can add little rectangles on here. And 
you can basically vary them however you like, whatever whatever you want to do what looks nice and good and what suits your style or what is something you really like. Alright, so there we go. So you have a couple of ideas for snowflakes. And uh, that's basically it. And if you have them on the face, on the design, if you have another background color, like a, um, I don't know, like a metallic white on the background, and then you put those on top, they look really nice. I usually put glitter on top of them. That way the kids have some of the sparkle. So you can either put a light blue. On the pink ones. Or of course you can just use your poofa bottle and just go over it with white glitter, which also looks very nice. All right, so just to show you, I just added um, a snowflake where I put the lines in black. Um, it works very well as well. So you can um, use that for someone who does not want to have the girly version of the snowflakes. If someone's not that much into the pretty, you can uh, use this one. and. It would still look good. It's um, it works well. It can go with pretty, or it can go with a little more gothic style. So um, yeah, have fun. Just play with them, play around, see what uh, what you can come up with. And um, well, I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope you like the design. Don't forget to um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye!